this meeting is postponed from April 27th, 2016, due, due to the funeral of Johnny Sack, administrator of the Building Management Teaching Center. So, that's all. I just want to welcome everybody here. It's one of the biggest crowds we've had in a long time. And uh, we're going to start by standing and saying the pleasure of leaving. citizens be afforded the opportunity to attain a decent, safe, and sound living environment, and whereas the County of Dillon rejects discrimination on the basis of race, religion, color, sex, national origin, disability, and or familial status in the sale, rental, or provision of other housing services, and whereas the State of South Carolina enacted the South Carolina Fair Housing Law in 1998, and whereas April is recognized nationally as Fair Housing Month. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the County of Dillon does de designate April 2016 as Fair Housing Month. We have a motion to accept this resolution. I'll make that motion. Is it a second? Second. Any discussion? I'm in favor of raising your hand. Now we're down uh, to Lakeview High School Academic Team. I know Lakeview's always had a state championship of football. Now they got it in the academic team. They got the brains down there. And um, I'd like to call on Bobby Moody to recognize them and let them come up and we'll get a picture, Bob. Uh, everybody in the Lakeview community and all around the county, and we're real proud of y'all. Like you said, we always been good in sport, and now we're good in academics. And we're real proud. Rich, would you like to? Yeah. yeah. You can just get them up front. No. Yeah. Y'all kind of step like in front of the table. So, well, are y'all gonna stand up behind them, or y'all gonna come down? All right. 
Be careful with the microphone. You want to squeeze on it. Come on, Sarah. <laughs> got together and planned on or, or something. We have, uh, we have a, a wonderful group of kids that we work with. We actually have 14 kids on the academic team. Our, um, one of them is at baseball practice right now. We have a couple of football players, as you can tell. We have some basketball players, some female basketball players. And it, it's this all-around good bunch of kids. I look forward to practicing with them. They come to my classroom first week of school want to do practice. So we practice twice a week throughout the entire school year. And it's a it's a sight that we hold. We we have a good time. We have some some food and some drink and sit down and, and hit some questions. Um, a lot of schools have never heard of Lakeview High School, but after we play in academics, they uh, they can't forget us. We um the school we built last year, Mid Carolina, after Lake View being, uh, they went and uh, took out the frustration on the men's bathroom. <laughs> um, this year we had to play Camden High School, and you know Camden, very big high school. Lake View is one of the smallest schools in the state. Camden is a 3A school, and we, um, we took it to Camden, and they weren't too happy losing us either. And who do we beat in the state championship? Indian Land. Indian Land. And we're very familiar with Indian Land, had to play them in softball a few times and baseball and stuff. But um, we, we got them to act them team too. It's a, it's a statewide competition. But our kids are excited about it. It used to be in the past, we had the coaches had gotten asked kids to join, to beg them to join. 
but recently we run through uh, um, some years of good luck. I think it's because the, such the intelligent kids we have. Now we have to we have to tell kids to uh, come back next year and try out because we have so many. Our middle school academic team also got to play in the uh, championships, and there was uh, this one game away from also reaching state championship game. So it, it's um uh, it's almost like a a dynasty. Okay. But I do appreciate everything you do for us. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we have a 9C. Okay, a trailer. Y'all feel free to leave any time you want to. You don't have to stay for this whole week. You got a vote on the resolution? You got a vote on the resolution. I'm going to say this is a very important resolution. Oh, Mr. Chairman, we need to vote on the resolution oh, for the we need to vote on no, the okay. We have a motion, um, Lakeview High School resolution for the academic team. Are you going to make that motion? Sure, I'll make the motion. Okay. Second? I'll second. Okay. Any discussion? I just okay. want to say, okay. I, I like to take my hat off to Lakeview academic team. You know, there's so many times that those things are overlooked. And when it comes down to athletics, we push that up to the top. But I believe that it's, it's what you guys are doing that's going to take you to the next level. Not football, not basketball, not baseball, because probably 1% of 1% will ever go to the next level. In those sports, but if you get that <coughs> academics down in your brain, no one can stop you. So I take my hat off to you. You're doing a great job. Have you got a motion? It's been seconded. All in favor, raise your right hand. Okay, now we're down to number C, autism. Thank you again. Um, we found out that um, a lot of times people 
keep their children in because of the way they're being treated. Because people don't understand. And if we can educate them the more about it, I think Dillon County would be a better place, okay? And also getting the right um, education. And we know that early intervention is the best key for any child that um, has autism. At the same time, we would like to say that um, I even have friends, I have the special needs support group that I've um, started. I don't only have young children, but we have adults as well. And um, I have some of the parents here with me today, and I'm so grateful for that. But my, it is my thing, and I'm very grateful that um, for the county if we would help proclaim mm -hmm. April, as it is nationally, as Autism Awareness Month here in Dillon County, so that we can get the word out, so we can spread the word to bring more awareness and acceptance in our own community. Thank you so very much. Mr. Scott, thank you for bringing this important information. Now I'm calling out to turn to read a resolution. It's a resolution of the Dillon County Council declaring April 2016 Autism Awareness Month. Whereas autism is a pervasive developmental disorder affecting the social, communication, and behavioral skills of those affected by it, and whereas as more health professionals become proficient in diagnosing autism, more children are being diagnosed on the autism spectrum, resulting in rates as high as 1 in 68 children nationally. And whereas while there is no cure for autism, it is well documented that if individuals with autism receive early and intensive treatment throughout their lives, they lead significantly improved lives. And whereas individuals with autism often require a lifetime of specialized and community support services to ensure their health and safety and to support families' resil resilience as they manage the psychological and financial burdens autism can present, now, therefore, be it resolved that all April 20, 2016 is Autism Awareness Month in Dillon County, and Dillon County Council encourages all employees and residents to participate in National Autism Awareness Month activities in order to become better educated about autism and create a better community for individuals with autism. This resolution is passed the 28th day of April 2016 by the Dillon County Council in a meeting duly assembled. We have a opportunity to address the council and those present. PD Coalition is a nonprofit organization, volunteer organization that is dedicated to the reduction of child abuse, sexual assault, and family violence, and to all the needs of its victims. It is the belief of the coalition that the reduction of child abuse, sexual assault, and family violence is a community issue and concerns the entire community. Not just women, not just the service providers, but all who value the basic need to be free from violence and threat. April is National Child Abuse and Sexual Assault Month. The goal is to raise awareness about sexual assault and to educate communities on how to prevent it. Sexual assault is a major public health, human rights, and social justice issue. The coalition provides 24-hour crisis line support groups for victims, self-defense training for women, community education and classroom presentations on dating violence. Currently, in 2015, we do not have the 2016 stats yet. In 2015, the coalition served 68 families in Dillon County of violence. We were able to get eight women and their children to safety in our shelters. They stayed approximately 176 nights. In 2015, the coalition assisted 40 children who were victims 
of sexual assault and or domestic violence. We have volunteers that gave us 6,889 hours. And in 2015, we had seven sexual assault victims in Dillon County. We would like to thank you for your commitment to helping us reduce sexual assault, child abuse, and family violence in Dillon County. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, would it be inappropriate to have the autism group come up and take a picture with would that be okay with y'all? Yeah. Y'all like it? Thank
will be about the last two. I will be so. Mount Calvary, we're not going.
because of that that we we're, were able to purchase equipment down there. And there were some others that gave too, and, and they would be recognized also, but they didn't give like the Shaker Foundation did. So I just want to get your approval on having that special ceremony for that. Any more discussion? Anybody want to ask some questions? Probably want to ask some questions. Is that a Saturday? Saturday. And it, uh, the time I, uh, it's going to be kind of hot then. I know. So I thought I'd make from 10 till about to 11, something like that. It's probably going to last for about an hour. Did I mention, excuse me, excuse me. I, I said others gave, let me say who else gave so, so everyone would know. I think we talked about this already though, but uh, Representative Hayes chipped in with some money. How much was it, 12? About 12,000. 12,000 dollars. Yeah, with a grant. And then, I don't know, CPNL, I don't know what they actually No, the uh, airport. The, uh, yeah, that's right, that's yeah. right. The you know, regional airport. Lawrence Regional Airport. Lawrence Regional Airport gave us some, uh, some uh, fencing. Yes. Yeah. Uh, um, what do you call it? What do you call it? Fence. Fencing. They go around the little uh, slides for the kids be so they won't uh, be running out into the road. So that was nice for Lawrence Regional Airport yeah. to do that. And uh, I was at Richland Hayes for you know, some, you know, the clock. You, know. you got something to say? Um. Well, we have completed the playground equipment. It is uh, um, it's not open yet because the cement has to set for three days. But if you want to ride back and look at it, it's already up and in place. It has caution lights around, caution tape around it, and we've tried to, you know, trying to keep the kids off of it. But they did say they had some people some kids yesterday that wanted to play. <laughs> they couldn't let them. Anybody have any more questions? I don't have a motion that we'll put the ceremony activities and also put a, a flag up um, recognizing the shape of the foundation. I'll make a motion. Is it a second? A second. Any discussion? On the favor, raise your right hand. Okay, we'll go down number six. Oh, it is. Hey, go in part B. I'm sure we uh, received a couple of years. I'll let Daddy and Miller explain that to you. Okay, this is for uh, the concrete for the walking pad. And also we had one for two small pads for uh, benches to sit on. One bid from Smith Concrete Service in the amount of eighteen thousand seven fifty, and then we had a, another bid. We had two bids. The other one's from uh, CGR Construction. That's Charles Goins. Um, he bid eighteen thousand three hundred eighteen dollars and forty cents.
Mr. Chairman, the the, um, the reason for that extension needs to be reflected in the in the minutes. Okay, we're down to number eight now. Ordinance reading. The first reading, ordinance provide for the 2016 2017 fiscal year budget. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want to do the finance report? Uh, excuse me, I, I missed the finance report. I don't know what I'm saying about it. Let's do the finance report first, number seven. Okay, this, this is uh, as of the end of March. Um, I think we tracked it pretty well. Where we need to be on expenses. Uh, but currently, we got thir fifty-three thousand eight hundred eighty-eight dollars more revenue than expenses as of the end of March. Yeah, pretty much. We do. We yeah, we are. Uh, <coughs> I think the state's filled with some money. Once that kicks in, we'll just we'll write that on out. June thirtieth. Basically, two projects. One, um, one will be Project Badger, which is I got this from South Carolina Park of Commerce. The other project is, is uh, uh, called Pineapple, and the other contractual matter is dealing with the slash economic development project concerning the lease of the Mohawk building. So, so I want to make sure that these people know that we've got at least those three projects that we're going to be talking about. They'll be only only three projects we'll discuss in the second session. I'm not going to make a motion for it.